later on down the track. 19 after 11 o'clock, it is 17 degrees and only one degree off my high prediction today of 18 degrees. I think we're going to get there. With man didn't stand a chance. 15 degrees? No way. It is Friday coming into a brand new weekend, July the 9th. And I'm, well, I tell you what, let me do this. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Got to welcome along everybody that's joining us this morning. Facebook Live, it is an absolute pleasure to have you with us. It really, really is. If you're going to watch a little later on over there on YouTube, you know what to do, right? No, you do. You really do. Sub, thumb, bell. Bingo. Uh, bell notifications. When we have important people, especially today, coming out of Paris, France, is Emma Goldberg. I am so excited. Let's get into it. You're right here at Galaxy, and today's feature artist... Ladies and gentlemen, today's feature artists on Galaxy 107 FM. So, we've got a couple of minutes to uh, get to know each other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And, and Hi, Emma, I've got to let you know, we've been playing Hi. you for a little while now, and when we started playing you, you blew up our internet. Excuse me, I don't understand. Sorry. Uh, everybody wanted to know who, what, when, where, and how about you. Uh I say I'm a French pop singer, composer. Uh, I used to work with several musicians. Uh, I used to be on stage often uh, before. Uh, many, many countries I sing uh, where I used to sing. Uh, and one day I decided to, to, to be more composer than singer. And I made many, many songs. And uh, I did one of them with a musician of Stevie Wonder, uh, Mao Tayek. A friend of mine, and we did together and sang together uh, Madiba, to be honest. Nice, nice. Well, I'll tell you what, we should actually introduce Emma to Gear. Yes. Yeah. yes. Uh, have you heard of the movie Lord of the Rings? Excuse me? Have you heard of the movie Lord of the Rings? No. Okay, uh, New Zealand movie, uh, and I would recommend you have a look at it. It's a great movie, it is. Um, it's based on the books by J.R. Tolkien. Lord of the Rocks? Uh, Lord of the Rings, R-I-N-G-S. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I know it. Uh, I, will, I will watch it. I'm, I'm fond of movies. Believe me, I'm really fond of movies. It's every time. It's my vision. Nice, nice. Well, uh, uh, the... Uh, director of the movie is actually somebody I went to university with. Wow, okay. So uh, Great. You, you will love it. But the title track of that was actually written by another friend of mine coming out of Norway. Okay. And, uh, and they are, are they are such a singer or composer? Oh yeah, <laughs> oh believe me, yes they are. They really are. I would like to introduce you to Gear actually. He's a very, very okay. nice guy. You never know, okay. you, you might write a song together. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, with pleasure. I enjoy collaborating with persons, and I did several collaborations this, uh, these last years with Americans, very, very exciting people, uh, beautiful people, and it was, uh, it was a great, great moment, believe me, each time. Nice, nice. Um, we've still got about three minutes to go, so uh, uh, this was Mark... Over here in the background, he's our IT guy. Um, he's... Hello, Mark. <laughs> Hello, how are you? <laughs> Very well. <laughs> he's um, keeping us going at the moment. We've been having a few technical oh, difficulties this, this week, so uh, he's uh, a gem. Okay. <laughs> and um, I think many, many people will follow us tonight, or today for you, tonight for me. Oh, definitely. I, I don't realize, to be honest. Um, I'm very, very happy to do that. Well, I, I tell you what, 
I will give you the amount of people that were logged into the interview that we are about to do uh, at the end of this. No use giving it to you now because it just grows and grows. You know what I mean? So I'll give you those numbers at the end of this. But Emma, yes. you're going to be hey, really Anthony. shocked. There's a lot of people Happy listening. Having a great day. Okay. okay. Well, I'll follow you. <laughs> That's great. Very cool. Um, nice to have everybody on board too, by the way. And uh, so we've welcome got back. Anthony Liguri on. Right? Anthony Liguri, our resident Elvis. Anthony, guess what? I got I got your jewelry on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud to wear this. I am. So welcome, bro. And it's nice to have you back. And today. We're catching up with a young lady called Emma Goldberg coming out of Paris, France, and she is absolutely making tracks here at Galaxy. She is. Everybody's following her. <coughs> so. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the, I, I've got an, uh, a detail to, to tell you about And I Miss You. In the beginning of the song and at the end, there are crickets. There are real crickets. Uh, uh, sound. We were with uh, with um, with a tablet in the park, searching for the crickets for the recording <laughs> studio. Believe me, that's still. Oh, that's that's cool. at night, in night, uh, in the night, we were searching for the cricket sounds, and we kept it. <laughs> nice, nice. I, I I I like that kind of. Yeah. You see, Emma, I'm a. Um, I'm an engineer myself. I not only do studio engineering, uh, but I do front of house as well and have done for many, many years. So I, I like stuff like that. Let's go live to the desk. Okay. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM 27 after 11 o'clock. It is, well, look at that, 19.6 degrees. I think I went because I didn't actually get a temperature from my co-host today. She didn't actually tell me, so Cheat. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to win. Cheat. Yeah, no, well, you didn't say anything, did you? So, okay, I'm, I'm having this one. <laughs> it is Friday, coming into a brand spanking new weekend. And uh, forgive me, folks, I'm going to have to just tone my speed down just a little bit when I speak to this young lady simply because not only am I, well, I talk fast, but I'm excited as well. I'm joined today, coming out of France, by Emma Goldberg, and believe me, this is exciting. Good morning, good evening, Emma. Morning. Nice to have you with us. Good evening. I'm very, very, very happy to be with you all. Thank you so far, so much for welcoming me in your radio show. I'm very, very happy and excited. And I say hi to everybody in your country. And I send you all my tenderness. Well, thank you, Emma. It is an absolute honour to be able to speak to you today. I'm very, very humbled. I've got to be honest. Uh, and believe me, I am impressed with your music myself. I really am. But, would you believe that everybody that's listening to Galaxy right now, they've been asking all sorts of questions about you, they want to know more about you, and uh, they're relating to your music very, very much. And now, we started the show, And I Miss You. Tell me a little bit about that. How did you come to the lyrics of that? Uh to be honest, I was, uh, I was searching my road uh, and this time and in, sometimes when I'm searching my road, sometimes of, uh, in the, my personal life and uh, personal and um, life of composer, I go to my piano and I'm speaking with my piano and sometimes some lyrics and melodies are coming and uh, this song uh, used to be there like that, it, uh, it, it was uh, a birth 
to be honest. And uh, we decided to record that song uh, with my best friend uh, in his recording studio. And uh, we made three days of recordings. And for the details, I told you, we were searching for the crickets inside the park of the recording studio uh, for the, the song because I had the idea because uh, a cricket was listening to the song, the recordings, to be, to be honest. And he was singing at the same time of my voice. That was totally crazy. So we decided with the tablet to take his sound and his voice too, to put it inside of my uh, of my song. I hope he won't ask me uh, write authors, but uh, <laughs> I hope he will be. Uh, it, it was a great experience um, in in that song because it was very very personal. And there is the the piano version, an acoustic version on YouTube too. I was alone in the dark at the recording studio, and I didn't know my engineer was recording me. <laughs> That's the the history of the song too. Uh, there are many many uh, details like that in my songs. Yeah, well, Emma, uh, one one very very good secret to every room that has a microphone in it: treat it as it's live. Excuse me. Treat the microphone as they are always alive. Yes, yes, yes. We are there. We are, we are here. And in front, it's uh, up to uh, it's up past one in in the morning, of course. And I hope uh, you are all right with us, of course, uh, in live, of course. Yeah, absolutely. We we're, we're absolutely fine with it. Now, uh, I I got to ask you a, a fan question, actually. As a fan, how do we get hold of you? Can, can we text you, uh, like, for instance, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram? Uh, but more importantly, Emma, do you respond? Yes, of course, all the time. I manage everything. Nobody uh, is behind unless me. I'm, I am responding, of course, uh, everywhere on, on all the Facebook page groups. Uh, profiles I have several of course as you saw uh, and everywhere LinkedIn uh, YouTube Twitter everywhere absolutely everywhere I am the manager uh, the community manager of my profiles don't be afraid uh, I have seven profiles on Facebook ch -ch -ch -ch, I, I don't do that I don't say that <laughs> but uh, it's a secret now <laughs> But I, I'm, I'm everywhere because, uh, why I have seven profiles? Because many, many people wanted to be with me on my profile. So I decided to create page, several profile groups, uh, as the fact want to be and where they want to be. That's the secret too. That's very, very cool. Now, do you have a website there? Can we download your music from your website? Uh, you can listen to it and uh, maybe download it uh, from YouTube. It's free, totally free. Um, just uh, have pleasure with my music. Listen to it. Make it discover to 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 my to to your friends, of course. Enjoy my channel, of course. Uh, that's uh, that's a great moment, and, and I hope you will very very numerous. Well, you know, Emma. Uh, now you're going to get a whole heap of new people following you uh, in all of your endeavours. And that includes us. We're going to be uh, following your career from now on. So believe me, welcome to the Galaxy family. And, and it is an honour to have you amongst it. Because the angels exist, tell me something about that. Oh, this song, it was, um, it was a strange, strange song. I wrote it because... Uh, several years ago, one man saved my life, to be honest. Uh, he used to be there at the right time. And um, for my birthday, friends of mine uh, went to my home and they told me, suddenly, because the angel exists, in French, of course, parce puisque les anges existent en français. And um, so I decided first to write that song in French, puisque les anges existent. And when I began my American adventure three years ago, uh, many, many people wanted to understand the lyrics of that song. So I decided to translate 
uh, that song and it became uh, because uh, the angel exists and uh, many many people um, find hope inside of that song I think um, they find themselves too and uh, it's a song they enjoy of course you know I've got to agree with you yes uh, people are absolutely relating to the song. They're asking for it more and more here at Galaxy. Got to welcome along, of course, Dr. T. Terry Van Cannon is joining us this morning. And yes, you're right, from New Zealand to France to the USA, it is just happening right now. Here she is, Emma Goldberg, joining us live, coming out of France, and of course, because the angels exist. Do you need a drink or anything, Emma? <laughs> a coffee. <laughs> a coffee, of course. <laughs> Believe me, I have, I have one too. Uh, it's, 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 um, it's, for, for that song, it's a really, really, um, it was a strange moment. I was way, way working with an American producer on several other songs, In My Eyes, The Fire of Love, and many songs like that. And uh, at the same time, the American people and fans wanted this song in English, so I translated it. It's, it's true, totally true. And I was very, very surprised that they was um, really, uh, really interested by, by the melody, by, by the, the song. And uh, when I sing in, when I'm uh, on concert, and when I made my, my Belgium Tower, when I was singing in Belgium, uh, the people were very, very interesting by the lyrics and the song, and it was one of my successes, and it, I, I, I'm always the first surprise, to be honest. Well, believe me, our listeners love it. They really, ah. really do. And uh, we, we love playing it, we, but yet again, we love playing your music here, we really do, so uh, uh, it's just a pleasure, it really is. Uh, no more drama is coming up next, but uh, I'm going to ask you a question uh, about the COVID thing, how is it happening in France and stuff like that, so uh, we'll, we'll go down there. But have you ever thought maybe of touring down to New Zealand at some stage in the future? Uh, since many years, uh, I don't tower anymore uh, for a long time because I have many, many, many demands of new songs for me and for other artists. And I'm composing, 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 working, working, working all the time every day. And the radio shows, I'm on two channels, one in France and one uh, in, in UK, two for two Radio UK. And so it's, it's a rhythm. Uh, very very uh, intense to be honest and uh, and uh, so I, I'm working all the time uh, maybe later I hope I will be back on, on stage I asked uh, um, uh, a man who is in the musical industry uh, I told him uh, last week I'd like to come back on stage my fans uh, I need them now but um, I didn't uh, went on stage since uh, 2018 Okay. Uh, the, the, the moment I began uh, with the Americans and uh, and uh, all the songs I wrote during these last year, three years, it's uh, it was a great great challenge because I I worked with several countries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we have many many friends in America. There's some very very great people there. We really do. So uh, good luck with the Americans. We love them. We really do. Same with the Canadians. We do. <laughs> don't we? Uh, we seem to spend a lot of time in America, don't we? We do, and in Canada. Yeah, and in Canada, and the UK, and well, even in Norway, we spend a lot of time. We really do. Uh, uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, that's my dear, my dear told for me uh, hours ago. Uh, Canada Americans are writing to him too, to know about about too. That's what he is asking me too. So it was a great moment for me to be on your channel now. I think you are the good, good idea. Yeah, absolutely. I love this idea too. And we will talk about 242 as well. I, I want to have a chat about that ah. and what you do. So let's go back to the desk.
That's right, you're right, here we go, it's the 107 FM, it is 20 minutes away from lunchtime, 12 o'clock here in New Zealand, 19 degrees, so we've gone past my high, I'm going to take that one. Now let me give you the skinny on this, literally, you're going to love this, Emma Goldberg is a French pop singer, composer, video producer, author, writing in, Italy, uh, in Italian, Spanish, English and French. You know, I can't write in English. I really can't. So believe me, and everybody around here goes, is that Grant's hand scratch kind of thing? Believe me, it's a talent to write. So, Emma, can you actually speak those languages as well? Oh, uh, yes, why not? I can I can speak this language, of course. Es posible que hablar en español. mi amigas español. Um, um, and and uh, in English, of course, I can speak in English, of course. Je peux parler aussi en français. Uh, ich kann uh, spreche Deutsch. Uh, and uh, and uh, I forgot Italian. Uh, hey, uh, Italian. Um, uh, I've got. I don't have the words in Italian. Sorry. Uh, I've got, uh, so I write. I write my song to several languages, and I've got several projects. And when I'm focused on on one language, I've got uh, a, a little bit. Uh, um, it's a little bit difficult to speak uh, from one language to another. Uh, it's not totally easy every day because I've got so many things in my in my in my mind. Sorry, sorry for for the Italians. <laughs> Yeah, you know, Emma, believe me, I've toured the world as well. I really, really have picked up a little bit of the local lingo as we go, you know what I mean? Uh, but believe me, I've forgotten more languages than I care to be able to admit to. Uh, but uh, again, I only speak bad English. I do, really. You know, I'm, I'm kind of happy if I get by, to be honest with you. And if people can understand me, uh, and i got to be honest, uh, a lot of the countries and people that we talk to from different countries around the world, Emma, uh, one of the first things they say is, we love your accent. <laughs> and I'm going, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm going, really? Do you? Uh, the other day, literally in the news here in New Zealand, uh, New Zealand accent is the sexiest in the world right now. Wow. <laughs> Which is amusing to me, because I think Barbara's accent is far better than mine on any given day. It really, really is. She speaks proper English. Me, I just speak K-Way. I. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I do. Uh, very much. Uh, I have a question for Emma. Uh, what language does she dream in? Terry, really? Uh, Emma, what language would you dream in? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I enjoy writing the songs in several languages, and I enjoy speaking several languages. Uh, I totally leave the moment, to be honest. So I don't prefer anything. I just leave the moment when when I'm living it uh, in the in the good time, and uh, and um, I don't think about uh, this one or, or this one. Of course, uh, the English. Um, I. I I'm speaking it more and more because uh, English spoken countries are interested by my songs and fans, of course. And so, uh, yes, uh, and I think English is universal. Maybe uh, I think it's uh, it's official now. <laughs> you know, uh, usually, I've got to be honest with you, Terry, I dream in Braille. I <laughs> do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, now, uh, by the way, Terry, uh, many, many happy returns on your wedding anniversary back for the 4th. I'm sorry we didn't make that interview. Did have quite an issue with the technical, and you know, it was just really bad. Even my engineer over here, he'll admit that, you know, we had a rough week. So bear with us, my friend. We will love to get back to you very, very shortly. Okay, my friend? In the meantime, Emma, no more drama. You wouldn't have drama, would you? Oh yes, I was. Um, oh, it was a, a short story. I was uh, breaking with a with a with a boyfriend, to be honest, and uh, he he was not a, a, a good boy, to be honest. And, and I took my piano, and um, 
he has another girl to be honest but not not really fake <laughs> that's very open and i wrote that song for all the other girls who are feeling the same and uh, i i told myself and i told to them i told them no more drama never he won't he won't come back and he he he, he shouldn't come back believe me i we don't want such guys in our lives and it was the message of that song it's a it's a kind of girl power to be honest <laughs> i love it and nice way to stick it to a scoundrel for sure here joining us live coming out of paris france is emma goldberg and no more drama <laughs> It's hot in here, Barbara. It really is. <laughs> Oof. Hot. Kiwi. Yeah, yeah. Kiwis have Kiwi air conditioning. It's called no. opening the damn window. No, no, no. Sexiest language in the world at the moment. Yeah, it is. Speaking the French. It is. Well, you know. Thank heaven for little girls. Sorry, mm. <clears throat> sorry. My engineer's talking to me, and that's and and I was uh, and I was thirsty, so I was drinking water. That's oh. perfect. <laughs> yes. Uh, by by the end of this, Emma, you might need something a bit stronger than coffee, though. <laughs> no, just water. For me, just water. I drink a lot of water only. <laughs> Hydration, good idea. Great idea. Um, I love you the way you are. Is up next. <clears throat> yeah. So we'll have a chat about that, and of course, I really want to talk about your radio show in uh, 242 as well. And also, I want to talk about uh, Alan as well, because Alan rather intrigues me, you know what I mean? Um, I'm really intrigued about uh, directors and people who do other jobs, because my director, he well, I actually set him up a lot of the time and get him really upset. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. Um, with Alan, all is easy. Uh, he, he first uh, made me uh, an interview with me on his channel, and uh, he was hearing the, the, the fans on the internet, on networks, and suddenly he had the idea uh, a show, and, um, and I decided to make a show with new artists, independent. Emma, hang in there for a second. We will cover that. But first of all, we better go back live. That's right, you're right, Eric Galaxy, 107 FM, and it is 12 away from 12 o'clock noon lunchtime, and it's an absolute pleasure to have everybody on board this morning, especially Dr. T as well, nice to have you on board, coming out of North Carolina, good folks down there, they really, really are. Now, uh, I'm talking live to Emma Goldberg, coming out of Paris, France this morning, and she also is a DJ, she works for radio as well. 242 Radio UK. Now, uh, Emma, uh, tell me a little bit about 242, and I would love to know a little bit about Alan as well. Uh, it's a, it's great adventure. 242 Radio UK and Alan, DJ, uh, DJ Alan is great, great, great person. Uh, I tell him every day that he's great manager, director, is a very nice person. And uh, I'm very, very happy with them, to be honest. Uh, for the beginning of this tree, uh, I was uh, developing my songs uh, with English spoken countries and fans, of course, and they were listening to my songs. Uh, and I miss you, you're the only one. Uh, I think in the beginning, I was making I Love You the Way You Are, the jingle of my radio show on Tuvatu Radio UK. And um, and uh, he asked me to make an interview with him on this channel, to Photo Radio UK. And um, it was great, great, great moment. And uh, it was, to be honest, it was a long, long time. I didn't speak English, so it was my first interview in English. So I was a little bit slow, to be honest. <laughs> it was not easy because I'm still French. I didn't change. And so um, he, he came back to me. 
and ask me, would you like your radio show, your own radio show, and two for two radio UK? Wow, my radio show, wow! And we decided to make a radio show together, uh, just like you know, uh, with independent artists. I discover uh, many, many independent artists. My the jingle of the radio show is "I love you the way you are." My song I wrote with David Carenza, a wonderful jazzman, American jazzman. Uh, believe me, is a great artist and great professional. And um, so, uh, with all the things, uh, I must uh, say that for the design of the, 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 the visuals and the special effects, this is Yume Origins with Stéphane Tessèdre. It's a friend of mine since a long time. And uh, we began with all those uh, tools and, and, and friends to, to work uh, on that show. And this show is a bi-weekly bi show. And uh, you can find uh, many, many artists from everywhere in the world. It's very interesting discovering, uh, discovering sorry, independent artists. With that, and believe me, I think that covers it all right here is Emma Goldberg, and I love you the way you are. It takes two for the first time. Don't go change it. This one has had 1,788 requests since we've been playing it. How much? 1,788 requests. 1,700? Wow! 1,788 <laughs> requests since we've been playing it. <laughs> That's totally crazy. I, I wasn't sure I understand. Wow! <laughs> Oh, that's totally amazing. <laughs> wait, wait until you find out how many people have been requesting sex with me. Uh, this song is, uh, you know, uh, that's the secret. Uh, there, wa there was someone who was uh, uh, talking about uh, his ideas, about his, uh, his um, someone I don't know, someone I don't know, but uh, he was writing to me many things, and I decided to um, to make a song on sex with me, and I I, I worked with uh, someone of Universal, the famous label. We worked together uh, on that song, and uh, I called him back and I told him, Cyril, uh, please just trust in me. I will call the song Sex with Me, and suddenly silence. <laughs> he was very surprised and and, and blocked. And uh, he, he trusted me, he, and we did that song, Sex With Me, with a crazy lyrics. And, um, and he enjoyed after, uh, when he saw uh, the song was everywhere on, on networks now. And uh, that's uh, totally crazy. And for the visuals, uh, we decided uh, very funny uh, visuals. Uh, like the Monty Python, you know the, the mm -hmm. movie Monty mm -hmm. Python, mm -hmm. and uh, and so uh, it was a, a kind of a, a mix of a, of a, a British humour, to be honest. Very very cool. Uh, one thing I have noticed here is every time a DJ announces the name of the song, they can't stop smiling while they're doing it. So it works. <laughs> it works. It's good. It really is. Um, it, it's a good song. <laughs> And, and believe me, the staff here wanted to know if um, I would ask you what it would be like to have sex with me. <laughs> I asked. I asked. <laughs> I asked, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe not on here, but I asked, all right? I, it qualifies. <laughs> it does. And I don't have to put any money in the jar for that one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Which is true. That's the beginning of the fame, believe me. <laughs> believe me. Um, and you're going to love this, you really are, because uh, a huge amount of people around the world have been requesting it. I can't get through a breakfast show without playing it. Let's go back to the desk. That's right, you're right, yeah, tight, eh? yeah, that was tight. Uh, you're right, here at Galaxy 107 FM, 6 away from 12 o'clock, and, well, 18 degrees downtown. Not bad, actually, it's a great day outside, a little gloomy, but we're going to get there, it's going to fine up. Friday, July the 9th, 
and I'm really excited because I am joined coming out of Paris, France by Emma Goldberg and believe me, she has been making a huge sensation here at Galaxy ever since we started playing her. We didn't announce who she was, we just played the music, you know, dip the toe in the water, play the music, see what the reaction is going to be from our audio audience and it blew up our internet. Literally, it really did. Maybe we could hold her responsible for last week's travesty. It has been that tied up. It really has been. But one particular track, and check this out, folks. I can't get through a single breakfast show without playing this every day. Literally, every day, people want me to play this song. And it has been asked of me to ask Emma about sex with me. <laughs> now, I'm just wondering, you know, uh, this is not a bad thing. This is actually the title of the song. And I've noticed every DJ smiles when they announce it themselves, including me. Uh, but we all got this one question mark. Emma, why sex with me? <laughs> Everybody wants to know. I knew, I knew, I knew. Uh, and why not? <laughs> Uh, to be honest, um, it was uh, a person was uh, writing to me his, uh, his fantasy, I was his fantasy, and so I decided to, to play the role in my song. I was writing music with a man of Universal, uh, the label, the famous label. This song I wrote with him, with Cyril, Cyril, if you hear us. Uh, your our song is played everywhere on Galaxy every day. You can see it now. It's a great message to my colleague. And so, um, Cyril, I told him I will explain and I will play a role in that song of what I'm reading about uh, these fans who are writing to me because of the other song. And I wanted to play the role and, uh, and I called back Cyril and I told him, Cyril, please, trust in me. I will call the song Sex With Me. Suddenly Cyril says nothing. Nothing, no word, nothing. It was very, uh, um, a little bit right to, to be, a, a little bit wise, sorry. And so, um, uh, interestingly, we, we gone uh, with that totally crazy uh, and amazing lyrics. I, I worked a, a lot on that, on those lyrics because English is not my maternal language, of course. And uh, so, uh, we decided to, to put the strange and amazing uh, visuals of animals, of, of uh, uh, UFO and many things like that, totally crazy. It, it was a, um, a wing to, um, to British humor, of course, uh, like Monty Python. It, it was, uh, the team was uh, laughing every day, every time when they are worth singing, singing sorry, about uh, the project. Uh, the lyrics, the the name, and the visuals, they were laughing all the time, and we did it, and uh, the, the the morning we, we, we gave the song to our fans, uh, everybody was sharing, believe me, it was totally crazy, and I enjoy, and many radios in the world are, are playing that song, and I'm very happy. Well, add us to it, because believe me, I am playing it every day. <laughs> 30, uh, let me tell you, 3,515 requests and climbing every day so far have been requesting it since we first started playing it. 3,515 people want to hear this over and over again. So, without further ado, here is Emma Goldberg on Galaxy with Sex With Me. Here, here in the How are you feeling, Emma? Are you okay? Oh, perfect. I'm perfect, really. That's totally crazy. I'm, I'm, I enjoyed this exercise. I didn't do it before. Well, I hope that you will come back again. If you've got new music, will you come back and um, release it with us as well? Yes, the new one it will be a, a different uh, song. It's a duet with Olivia Bunn. Uh, I, I think I gave you uh, an exclusivity. Uh, just uh, you and Alan have it. Nobody else. Very Nobody else. You are, you are too. On, uh, and uh, when I finished uh, the video, 
uh, every all the radios who are playing my, my songs will have it, and so it will be. Uh, I decided uh, to make a difference, totally different, uh, with the piano because of the summer when you have a love of summer, and uh, it was a, a, a different ambience. And Olivier is a friend of mine since. 25 years we we began together he made concerts i made shows too but we never joined our talents and so uh, one day i called him uh, at, at his home and i told him uh, would you like to sing my song with me uh, it's good it's good um, moment for us to share this moment of music and uh, i was still at home with him uh, yesterday something like that and uh, it's a very, very good friend. So it's it's a moment of a friendship and music, to be honest. Very, very cool. Well, I would welcome having you back again to have another chat because uh, I, I would like to be able to form a relationship with you and follow your career as you go. Um, just wondering if you would like to do something for me. Next time you're next to a recordable microphone, how would you like to record something on MP3 saying, Hi, it's Emma Goldberg. How would, you know, something like that, you can hear me on Galaxy 107 FM, something like that, so that we can continue to have our uh, audio audience uh, so hear you. If you if you have a special text uh, you want me to say, uh, send me send me send me it by mail. Uh, I will do it if you want. If you need a special text. Hey, what I'll do is I'll get Barbara to uh, send you stuff, okay? Oh, okay, I'll follow you. <laughs> anyway. I love you. <laughs> Galaxy. <laughs> That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. It is one minute after 12 o'clock. Not bad, actually. I think we're coming in time. And uh, 16 degrees. The weather's going back down again. I've already won. I'm taking that one. For sure. Uh, see, my co-host didn't give a weather number today. I'm going to win this one straight up. Friday, coming into a brand new weekend. And don't forget, TGIF, yes, thank God it's Friday. But please, play nice, play fair, be safe, right? In the meantime, uh, I'm going to wrap this up right now. Hang in there. Uh, but Emma, don't go anywhere just yet. We're going to do a couple of things after this. But i got to thank you so, so much for taking the time out, staying up as late as you have, and much respect to you for that. And, well, you know, talking to us kaiways down here in New Zealand. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for welcoming me. Uh, it's, a, it's a real honour and a real pleasure to be with you. I enjoy your show. I enjoy Galaxy FM and for everything you give me. Thank you, thank you, thank you for welcoming me and, and giving me so much. Well, it is an absolute honour and an absolute pleasure and we are so looking forward to catching up with you again in the near future. To everybody else that's following us on Facebook Live right now, thank you so much. Believe me, it's an absolute pleasure to have you guys joining us here live at Galaxy. And if you're going to watch a little later on over there in YouTube... Yes, sub, thumb, bell. Bingo. Have a very happy and successful weekend. I will see you again on Monday. But in the meantime, folks, let's go out with, uh, well, we better pay the bills, actually. 